This is Scrabble. The VTR date is 831.84. The air date is 926.84. And the show is number 63. A seven-letter word. The clue is, it's beyond you. Horizon! It's the crossword game you've played all your life, but never quite like this. And here's your host, Chuck Woolery. All righty. Thank you, Jay Stewart. Thanks, everybody, and welcome to Scrabble, the television version of everybody's favorite game. Our Scrabble Sprint champion has uh, changed now. It's Mike Hemingway. Let's enjoy Mike. Come on out here, Mike. How you doing? How you doing, Chuck? I'm doing fine. Mike's got two wins under his belt, $3,500, doing pretty well. Ready to go for your third? I'm ready. It's good to be back. Well, it's nice to have you back. You're going to be meeting the winner of this next match in just a couple of minutes. And if you'll wait backstage for us, we'll get right to you. I'd be okay. happy to. Here we go. All right, Jay, tell us who's going to play. He lives in a harem. She lives in Canoga Park. From Somerset, Massachusetts, Jerry Spinner. And from Canoga Park, California, Lori Chisholm. All right, welcome back, Jerry. Lori, nice to see you all again today. Nice to be here. When we left off uh, last time, uh, Lori was ahead two to zip. You got to do some catching up, Jerry. I've got my work cut out for you. Yeah, me. I know. Why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself before we get started? Well, I uh, enjoy sports quite a bit, mm -hmm. and I play uh, reverse bowling and golf. I know that, yes. <laughs> What want, me to, want me to explain what reverse bowling and golf is? Oh, why not? <laughs> Jerry had <have> fit. <laughs> <laughs> it's very simple. I get my bowling scores in the, on the golf course and my go golf scores in the bowling alley. Well, I'm glad you cleared that up. I was really worried about it for a second. <laughs> nice to have you back with us, Jerry. Hi, Lori. Hi. Tell us a little bit more about you, hon. Well, I just graduated college, and now I'm deciding what to do and where to go on from here, and I'm just excited to be here and well, ready to play. It's nice to have you here. Now, as I said when we left off, uh, Lori was ahead two to nothing, so, Jerry, that means we're going to start with you. Let's play Scrabble. We're going to play until somebody gets three words right, and that player goes on to our Scrabble sprint and a chance at more than $40,000 in cash. Take a look at the board as we set up for our first game. Jerry will be playing first, as I said. We're going to be building on the letter S in passes, Jerry. Eight letters in this word. The clue is where you find wet bottoms. You can either guess or you can pick two tiles. I think I'd better pick two tiles. The remaining letters are controlled by the number of tiles between you. He's taking I'll two I'll try rows. a number one first. Number one. And a number ten. Okay, you have an E and number ten is an A. I'll try the E first. Try the E first. There it is. Where you find wet bottoms. Uh, have to try the A, please. Okay, here comes the A. Each game's worth $500, by the way. Where you find wet bottoms, Jerry. Still not much help. Okay, two I more tiles. Two more. Try a three and an eight, please. You have an R and have a C. Let's try the R, please. Try the R. Falls in there. Where you find wet bottoms, Jerry. We'll have to go with the C. Here comes the C. Where you find wet bottoms. Two more tiles. We'll All three stoppers are out. Let's go for number four. And number seven, please. There's an S and there's a T. Let's try the T, please. Here comes the T. Where you find wet bottoms. I'm just drawing a blank. We'll have to go with the S. Here comes the S. Where you find wet bottoms, we will not give you the last letter. Okay, no answer from you. Laurie, do you have any idea what this is? Coasters? Coasters for three in a row. And that's the game. That a girl. Well, Jerry, thanks a lot for being on the, on the show. We, we appreciate uh, having you with us. I'm sorry you didn't win anything. I had a ball. We have some nice parting gifts for you. Come on down, Laurie. You're tough. You really are. I watched you the last time. This was not exactly representative of how good she is. She won $500 right now. She's going to play Scrabble Sprint. We'll be back to do that in just a minute for $1,500. Stay with us. Come on.
All right, we're going to play Scrabble Sprint uh, with Mike Hemingway. He's our champion that you just met a couple of minutes ago. He's got two wins, a total of $3,500. His challenger is Laurie Chisholm. And uh, Laurie has $500. And Thank you both will be playing for $1,500. Each player will play three words. And the best time wins. And Laurie, since you're the, the challenger, you get to pick what you want, pink or blue. I'll try the pink, please. You're going to do the pink. Mike, that'll leave the blue for you. I want to remind you, honey, hit your plunger first because that's what stops the clock. Nothing okay. else will do that. Your answer or nothing. Okay. okay? There are no stoppers in any of these words. The clock will start as soon as we pop in the first two letters at the bottom of the screen. Okay. Good luck. Thank you. First word has six letters in it, Laurie. The clue is a hot time. Ready? Yeah. Go. S R. A hot time. M. Summer. Summer, that's right. At a girl. That's the way to do it. Second word, seven letters in this word. The clue is, your clothes look good on them. Ready? Ready. Go. R. G. Your clothes look good on them. Hangers? Hangers is right. Mm. 7.6 seconds. Third word, nine letters in this word. Dieters use it to stay slim. I'll say that one more time. It's kind of long. Dieters use it to stay slim. Okay. Ready? Go. P. I. Dieters use it w to stay slim. L. E. Dieters use it w to stay slim. Willpower. Willpower, 16.3. Boy, that's a great time. Ooh, Mike. Woo. She's tough, Mike. Give it my best shot. She's tough. Okay, here we go. We're going to take the clock backwards this time. You have to get all three of these before it hits zero. Good luck to you. First word, six letters in the word. A popular camera is the clue. Ready? Go. I. C. A popular camera. N. D. A popular camera. D. A popular camera. Tell me. Candid. Candid, exactly right. Second word, seven letters in this word. The clue is most women don't like hot ones. Ready? Go. L. S. Most women don't like A. hot ones. S. Most women don't F. like. That's it. That's it. You got the 1,500, Lori. Congratulations. Yeah, it's terrific. Good for you. Put that uh, 1,500 with your 500. You now have $2,000, and you're the new champ. Thank you. And deservedly so. That was a great time, Mike. That was pretty Two tough. wins Thank and you, uh, what? Three thousand five hundred dollars is not too shabby. Not Our too congratulations I'm to real you. Happy. All right, thanks. Great thanks, being Mike. Here. Congratulations. Thank you. Oh, okay. I tell you what, we're going to come back and find a uh, opponent for Laurie. We'll be right back right after this. That's great. Congratulations. Very good. All right. If you live in Los Angeles or plan to visit the L.A. area and you'd like to be a contestant on Scrabble, please write to Scrabble, P.O. Box 67519, Los Angeles, California, 90067. And now back to Scrabble and Chuck Woolery. Thank you, Jay. We have two contestants waiting in the wings. Jay, tell us who they are. She has had interesting people in her bed. He singes ladies' eyebrows. From Los Angeles, California, Daphne Benson. And originally from Providence, Rhode Island, Peter Gilmet. Welcome, both of you. Yeah, nice to see you. Hi, Daphne. How are you? How are you, Anne? Great. Okay, I, I was yelling at Daphne before we went on the air. You can't tell us. You can't, but I guess you can. Tell me. Yeah, it's got to be better yeah. than I think. Uh huh. Um, <laughs> um, when my parents, well, excuse me, when I'm not in Los Angeles, I stay in Irvine, and usually um, my parents use my room as a guest room. Oh. And my brother's best friend, well, one of his good friends, Carl Lewis, sleeps there. So uh, when Carl he's in LA, sometimes he's. Where you got yeah, it. Okay. right, right. <laughs> nice it's not that bad. Daphne. It's not bad at all. No, it wasn't bad at all. Okay, You're right. okay. Great. Hi, Peter. Hi, Chuck. How's it going? Oh, just fine, thank good. you. Good. Burning up ladies in restaurants, eh? Oh, it's kind of crazy. <laughs> I, I'd like to have Bert, Burnt Lady Under Glass, please. Thank boy. you so much. Well, I approached a woman in a restaurant offering to light her cigarette. The flame shot out six inches, singed her eyebrows. After she cooled off, uh, she thought it was a unique approach. 18 <laughs> months later, we were married. Oh, geez, and she your quit wife. smoking. Yes, it's my wife. She's married and quit smiling. Yes. <laughs> so. That's great. Right. 
Well, listen, who won the toss backstage? I Speaking did. of tosses, you did, Daphne? Yes, I did. Okay, let's take a look at the board. Daphne's going right. to play first. Here we go. <laughs> Building on the letter I, all by itself up there. Nine letters in this word, Daphne. The clue is they're usually standing on the corner. Uh, Want to guess? Take two tiles. Okay. Here we go. I'll take number 11 and number 6. 11 and 6, you have a B and you have an A. I'll take the B. All right. There it is. They're usually standing on the corner. The A. Here comes the A. Falls in there. They're usually standing on the corner, Daphne. I'll have to pick two more tiles. Okay. Number eight and number five. All three stoppers are out. There's an R and you have an X. Uh, the R, please. Try the R. Stopper. Peter, goes to you. Good luck to you. Okay. They're usually standing on the corner. I'd like to take a guess, Chuck. Okay. Mailbox. That's exactly right. She should have played that X. All right, that's one right. Takes three to win the game, Daphne. We're going to go to the board with you, okay? All right. Here we go. Building on the letter A in mailboxes, Daphne. Seven letters in this word. The clue is, he has a green thumb. Okay. Guess, take two tiles. I'll take number six and number three. S and an I. I'll take the S. Here comes the S. First stopper. Well, you're having trouble with those things, Peter. I have no guess, Chuck. I'll okay, take, take two tiles. Take one tile. I'll take the four. Have an E and an I. I'll take the I. Try the I. He has a green thumb, Peter. I have to take two more tiles. No, just uh, use the E what? since you have oh, one left. Sorry. Uh, the E. Stopper. See, that's what happens. Yeah. Daphne, it's back to you. There's only one stopper out there. And one, two, three, four, five, six tiles. Yeah. So you got good odds. He has okay. a green thumb. I'll take two tiles, number eight and number five. C and an M. I'll take the C. Here comes the C. Third stopper. You guys managed to get all three stoppers out of the way with only one letter on the, on the board. Uh, if you have any guess, Peter, you can take it now. If you don't guess it properly, you will not be able to play speed word. I still have no idea, Chuck. All right, let's play speed word. Both of you put your hands on your buzzers. We're going to put the letters in place one at a time. Uh, we don't give you the last letter. Remember, the okay. clue is he has a green thumb. Okay. okay, when you think you know the word, hit your buzzer. Here come the word. Here come the letters now. He has a green thumb. He has a green thumb. Tell me, Daphne. Martian. Martian, that a girl, yes. And a green hand and a green face. <laughs> All right, Peter, we're going to go to the board with you this time. See if we can break this tie building on the letter R in Martian. Eight letters in this word. The clue is playmates get a lot of it. Yes? Or you can take no. two tiles. Uh, let me take two tiles. All right. I'll take the three, Chuck, and the nine. E and a P. The clue again, please. Playmates get a lot of it. I'll go with the P. Try the P. I'll go with the E. Here comes the E. Playmates get a lot of it, Peter. Two more tiles. Here we go. Number one and number five. X and an O. I'll go with the X. Try the X. Playmates get a lot of it, Peter. I'd like to guess. Tell Exposure. Me. Yes, that's exactly right. Exposure. Very good guess. Peter's one up on you, Daphne. Let's go to the board with you this time. See if we can break this one, or, or tie it up, rather. Building on the letter S and exposure, Daphne. Five letters in this word. The clue is, short ones cause arguments. I guess, take no. two tiles. Okay, I'll take number six and number two. S and an E. Uh, I'll take the E. There it is. Short ones cause arguments. I'll, I'll take the S. Here it comes. Short ones cause arguments. I'll take the three and the five. All three stoppers are out. There's an M and an O. Which one? What was the clue again? Oh. The short ones cause arguments is the clue. I'll take the O. Try the O. 
Stopper. Peter comes to you. Short ones cause arguments for the game and five hundred dollars. I'll take a time. Turn. Okay. I'll go with the seven. Lucky seven. Am and a U. I'll go with the U, Chuck. Try the U. Short ones cause arguments. I'd like to guess, Chuck. Tell me. Fuses. That's exactly right. That'll win the game. Yes. Nice try, Daphne. Nice try. <laughs> we have some nice parting gifts for you. Thank you, Thanks very for being much. on the show. Thank Come on down, sure. Peter. Peter's pressing buttons, bells, everything's going <laughs> off. <laughs> Congratulations. Thanks very much. All right, $500 for you. We're going to play Scrabble Sprint for $1,500. We'll be back to do that in just a minute. Stay with us. Come on, Pete. And now, back to Scrabble and Chuck Woolery. All right, we're going to play Scrabble Sprint. Lori Chisholm is our champion. She just became champion in this uh, day, as a matter of fact. Uh, $2,000 with one win. Peter, uh, how do you say your last name, Peter? Gilmet. Gilmet. Yes, yes, okay. Peter's got $500. Uh, you will both be playing for $1,500. You'll be playing three words each. Best time wins. Peter, since you're the challenger, you get a pink or a blue? I'll go with the blue, Chuck. You're going to go with the blue. That'll leave the pink for you, Lori, which you like anyway. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Remind you to hit your plunger. That stops the clock. Okay? No stoppers in any of these words. The clock will start when we pop in the first two letters at the bottom of the screen. Here we go. First word, six letters. Some of them are blind. Ready? Yes. Go. L. Y. Allie's. Allie's exactly right. <laughs> How you doing, Lori? I'm in trouble. <laughs> Second word, seven letters in this word, a ladies' man. Ready? Yes. Go. N A A ladies' man. E H A ladies' man. Don Donahue. That's right, Donahue. 10.4. Third word, nine letters in this word. Some of them are models. Ready? Yes. Go. N A P. Some of them are models. A L. Some of them are e. models. Airplanes. Airplanes is right, 18.5. That's a good time. <laughs> How are you doing, sweetie pie? That's my best. I know you will. We're going to count the clock backwards on you. Okay. You have to get all three of these before it hits zero. Okay. First word, six letters in the word. Ducks go for them. Ready? Okay. Go. C. Ducks S. go for them. Oh. Why? Ducks. Decoys. Decoys, right. Okay, 13.6 seconds. Second word, seven letters in this word, Laurie. Some women swing it when they walk. Ready? Go. H. A. Some women B. swing it when they go walk. T. Handbag. Handbag, right. 8.5 seconds left. Third word, nine letters in this word. Where people toss coins. Ready? Go. I O. Where people A toss coins. Fountain? Fountain, that's right. You got it. Five seconds left. That's wonderful. Gee, that's great. $1,500. Put that to $2,000. You have $3,502 wins. Good for you, sweetie pie. Thank that's you. wonderful. Boy, she had a great time, Peter. That was tough. Player. Yeah, that was tough. $500, you're a good player, too. You really are. It's too bad you couldn't be on with someone else. I believe you'd even do, you'd do even better. Uh, we're going to take off to get a, a new opponent for Laurie Chisholm. We'll be right back. Stay with Very nice to go. You mean. You You I mean, really. Look at this. <laughs> All right, we're back with two new people. Jay's going to tell us who they are. Jay? Originally from Munich, Germany, it's Bob Quinn. And originally from Baltimore, Maryland, Rhonda Bright. All righty, I tell you, we're a little bit short on time right now. Let's get right to the game. Who won the toss backstage? I did. You did, Rhonda? Okay, let's go to the board with you first. We're gonna play Scrabble right off the bat here. Building on the letter H, Rhonda. Nine letters in this word. The clue is, most people won't swallow it. Guess or take two tiles. I'll pick two tiles. You better pick them in front of you there, sweetie pie. There they are. Oh. 
<laughs> I'll pick a number one. Yeah. And number five. Probably be a good idea to throw those down that slot, too. Okay, what was the clue, Glenn, please? Well, the clue was most people won't swallow it. Okay, I'll try the S. Try the S first. Most people won't swallow it. Okay, let me try the U. Here comes the U. Most people won't swallow it, Rhonda. Okay, I'll pick two more tiles. Two more tiles. I'll try the four. All right. And the six. You have a W and an M. I'll try the M, please. M's first. First position. Most people won't swallow it. Is it mouthwash? That's exactly right. Mouthwash. That a girl? You know that, Bob? No, I didn't. No. You didn't know it? No, I sure didn't. <laughs> All right. All right, I knew we were a little close on time. That means the time's up. I want to thank you all for coming and joining us on Scrabble today. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs> That's what, Chuck Woolery, bye-bye. That's what it is. Some members of our studio audience and some departing contestants will receive spruce up, paint up, dress up your home with red devil enamels, wood stains and paint removers, little cans for tough jobs, and rental of a rug doctor. The steam carpet cleaner with a vibrating brush. Remember, there's only one rug doctor steaming mad at dirt. Plus, noodle parmigiano, a bit of old Italy, and seven flavors, including chicken and light lasagna, the rice -roni flavor family. And Glade Spin Fresh Early Spring. Make your bathroom a fresher place to be with Glade Spin Fresh and five fresh scents. Chuck Woolery's wardrobe, furnished by Pierre Cardin. Scrabble, starring Chuck Woolery, is produced in association with Exposure Unlimited. This program is based on the Scrabble brand crossword game. This is Jay Stewart speaking. If you like this, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more and check out my Facebook page for other exciting content.